Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University. Today I'm going to show you how to work with your SPSS data set to create a single variable or a single column that notates which cell in an experiment your participant was exposed to. So when I'm in Qualtrics and I'm in the survey flow, you can see in this example I have an experiment set up where the participant is random, randomly exposed to one of three different cells. I have a positive cell, a negative cell, and a control cell. So what happens in the participant's experience is the participant comes to the Qualtrics link and then Qualtrics will only show them one of these cells even though all of the other blocks and the questions are programmed into Qualtrics, the participant is only going to see one group of these. And then the participant is going to jump down to the post-test. So when we look at our SPSS data set, we actually see, if I go into the data view, we actually see this section right through here, uh, section V10 through uh, Q51, um, all of these are the different cells, and it, it looks like a bunch of data is missing, but it's actually not. So what I can see here is that this person obviously was not a part of the first cells, but the person was in this cell right here, which is going to be the uh, control cell, it kind of looks like, and that person didn't see any of the other cells and so there's data missing. So if it doesn't make sense that's okay. What you should just know is that in order to do data analysis to determine if your experiment worked you need to have a variable that says experimental cell and you need to consolidate them and this is how you do it. Uh, we're not going to work over in the data view right now we're going to start in the variable view. I'm going to find a question that I know is a uh, connected with a particular cell. So when I look at this one, I'm going to say that this one is definitely positive, so I'm going to name it positive. It's okay that I'm renaming things in here. I'm going to go to the next one. This one is negative. And then I go to the next one, which looks like control. So the reason I'm renaming them is so that I can easily find them in Qualtrics. So now when I come over to positive, I'm actually going to create, insert a new variable. Let's see, edit, insert variable. Okay, great. Now I'm going to sort the positive cell descending so that all the ones are up at the top. So I can say all of these people were in the positive cell. So I'll go ahead and give them a one. So I'll copy the one down until the ones stop right there and the copying didn't work so hopefully it's working now there we go so now I'm actually gonna move this over now right in front of the negative and I'm gonna sort on the negative and sort descending. Now this time I'm going to give it a number of two because this is going to be cell number two in here and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it down until the ones end. You can see I'm not overlapping anything. Alright, that's two. Now can you guess what I do next? Yep, pull it over to the control and I sort descending again and then this one, this is the control, this is going to be cell number three. So I copy three to my clipboard and then I paste all the way down three. So now I have one variable, I'm going to go ahead and define it here and I'm going to call it cell. I'm going to give it a name of experimental cell. Uh, this is the condition that they were exposed to. I'm going to say one is the positive cell. 2 is the negative cell, and 3 is the control group. So now I have 
I'll put it, oops, that's the wrong variable. I'll pull it down to the bottom. Now I have a new variable that I can go ahead and run frequencies on to tell me how many people were in each cell. I have 43 people in my positive cell, 61 people in my negative, and 46 in my control. And so what this does is I can now use this variable, cell, anytime I'm looking at the difference in one of my dependent variables based on cell, because cell is my independent variable. So that is a quick tutorial on how you take a Qualtrics data set that has an experiment with multiple experimental conditions in it and uh, create your independent variable or your single variable for your cell in SPSS. All right, happy analyzing.